once you get those clamps loose just kind of grab the air box on both sides I grab my left hand here the right hand on the other side and just kind of pull it back just get it off the throttle body don't do what I did earlier uh, just loosen it it's my first time doing this and I didn't really see any videos on how to do this so I'm learning as I go so once you push this back you'll have enough space to uh, pull the throttle out this or throttle bodies out this way I'm about to do that so, it's kind of awkward so that's the electro connector to the throttle body Took me about a minute to finally get it off. I'm, I am doing this with an injured shoulder, so I don't have full power in my right hand. So what I did was I took my left hand, just kind of pushed this clip really hard so you hear my clip loosen. And then I took with my right hand this tool, the panel tool, and just kind of used it to leverage it up that's what I did now we'll go to the other side alright so this side is the fuel line so a quick disconnect connect whatever uh, later on we'll you're gonna have to take that breather tube right there we'll get to that when we get to it so let's see if I can do this one hand lighting a little better all right I put some towels here there might be some fuel spillage once you release that lock I think it's just these there's a button up here and under and you just squeeze that and pull so I'll do that it's kind of hard have to squeeze really hard and pull it once you get it off there wasn't like a huge splash of fuel it just kind of drips out so now that I've got that off I'll kind of get that out the way and we'll loosen the we'll get the throttle cables off and loosen the clamps down here <sighs> Holy shit. Finally got it out without cutting the air box. Alright, air box. The stock air box still looks pretty decent. It was definitely not as easy as I thought. So I don't know how people are getting it out easily. I think it's just better just to cut the damn thing, to be honest. But I wanted to challenge myself and see how I could do it without cutting so you got I'm going to show you guys real quick remove the throttle cables fuel line you're going to have to disconnect the fuel injector connectors and this I believe that's a throttle position sensor connector and unless that's maybe that's the mass airflow I'm not sure but that's another connector on the right side and a vacuum hose nothing on the bottom Just double check nothing and once you get all those things disconnected the best way I, how I got this middle one was you want to get it as far out as you can and then just try to get the connector because this connector was a pain in the ass to get off but when you finally get it easy I have this uh, 
holder just to kind of move these things out of the way because it will get in your way now let's see <clears throat> shouldn't be too hard to remove this it's just got that vacuum hose on the top you can get it on the other side over here um I'm going to tape those holes up so nothing gets in. I'll probably like wipe it down. The throttle bodies look really clean. I have about 5,000. Right really clean. I have about 5,300 miles on this bike. It's a 2021. Go to the other side. If I can get that. So there's the clamp. Just get that clamp off and pull the hose. And that should be the only thing holding the stock air box. Once you get that off, and you put in your horde air horde power intake in there. Uh, Alright. Alright, I didn't show you this guys, so right here is another nut, or I mean bolt, that holds the, I guess, for the fuel drain hoses, so that's a 4 millimeter. it's on there pretty tight, so you're going to want to loosen it with an allen, and then you could use something like this it has like the round head that kind of you can kind of get it at an angle once you get that off it's a lot easier to get to the breather hose I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that pretty sure y'all know how to get that off all right moment of truth so Kind of push that in, get these hoses out of the way. See if I can get it off the other side. <clears throat> All right. oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Boom. Hell yeah, baby. Look at. What the fuck? Oh, okay. What the Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I thought there was something there, but it's just like a blocked off uh, hole. All right. Well, okay, okay. We Gucci. We Gucci. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much it to take off your stock air box without ripping it apart. There's the throttle body. Uh, I guess that's how it is okay whatever uh, I'm gonna wipe it up just clean that clean the surfaces I'm gonna tape it up and when I get my horde power intake in I'll show you guys how to install that so here's that connector for the middle the fuel injectors and the one on the side breather hose up top all right thanks all right, I got the ECU in here, all packed up and ready to go. There are videos on YouTube on how to pull this out off of a 2021, so I'm not I didn't go and show a tutorial on that, but I'm gonna send this out to uh, Two Wheel Dino Works and have them reflash this. All right, so I got the cord power intake. That's where you put the breather hose, throttle bodies, and this is the directions that came with it. There's really not a whole lot of help on that. So we'll go to the bike. Looks like it's already pre-oiled. Alright. Alright guys, next step, what you want to do, you gotta take these band clamps. I already took this one off. Take these off, you're gonna transfer it 
to the intake. Also, I think I forgot to mention when you are removing the throttle body, you're going to want to loosen these clamps right here to there and to right here. They're both facing the left side of the bike. All right, next step, you're going to want to replace your throttle body. So make sure you have the vacuum hose connectors. Where is that little one? I know it's up here somewhere, but oh, right here. There's that little vacuum hose. Just put it back. Um, I'll show you when it's all put together. All right, guys, got it back in. want it pretty flush right there it wasn't that hard it took me a couple minutes um, essentially what I did is just sprayed some WD-40 on this towel and just put a slight amount inside the rubber just to help it get in easier because uh, when it was just dry it was a pain in the ass so I didn't want to tear up the rubber so I just put a slight amount it'll ease the installation after that take this and just tighten these down just make sure they're snug don't go too crazy on them alright it's not yet done but almost there. <clears throat> I ran into a few little hiccup. Uh, this part was easy. Got it flush. All I got is time this. So there's the bolt. What you want to do is you're going to put this in first and then the bracket uh, last. <clears throat> the reason being is when I was trying to put it in with the bracket on, was having a hard time getting in so I went ahead and do it like this so this is gonna take a minute <clears throat> I think this is a, a four or a five but this came off this came out of the passenger seat so this is what I'm using you want to use something short so you can get to the bolts here on top to tighten them down might take a minute but once you get that, you tighten that up. And what I had to do to get these holes aligned, it's not aligned right now, but you're going to have to use like a small hammer to punch this up and then hit this right here to kind of straighten it out. That way you could use the bolts. Yeah, so that was definitely not in the directions, but we're getting there. I left these bolts in here loose so I could adjust it properly what else things to know <clears throat> yeah and the beveled edge you basically just want it facing the front of the bike the back of it is flat yeah that's the easier way to remember it all right I'll get back to you <clears throat> All right, I got them snug down. See some threads coming out. I'm gonna show you what I did to align this with the hole. I think this one's pretty good. Right here. I'll show you on the other side. Got everything installed. <clears throat> That's still the stock bolt. Looks good, everything's tight. Nice fuel inject uh, fuel. Look at that. Lock. And then we'll do the auto cables.
Yeah, all these ones are not that hard, so. Uh, let's see if I can do one hand. Man, I'm not gonna do one handed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some grease first and then put them back where they belong. Other than that, this install is complete. Just make sure you tighten your band clamps, put the hose, put the clamp back, make sure everything's tight, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching.